She takes my honey, sweet thing. Fuck up a comma with the gang, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Liz Beth, and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. So, obviously by the title, welcome to my first intro video. I'm so hyped for you guys. Um, I'm going to be having 10 facts about me, and then I'm going to be getting into the reason why I wanted to start YouTube, and all of that jazz. So I'm going to just jump right into the video. I don't want to make this too long for you guys. Um, so yeah, it's all on my phone, so don't mind me looking at my phone. Um, number one fact, I was born in the Dominican Republic. A lot of people don't assume, well, assume that I am not Dominican. Um, apparently, like, I don't look like I'm from the Dominican Republic, but who knows what a woman from the Dominican Republic would look like. Um, anyways, yeah, I grew up there as well, and I am 100% baby, like, I'm not, like, my kids will be, like, first generation in this country like i'm not even first generation so um definitely dominican and like straight from dr um i have lived in three different cities in the past 10 years so i wanted to say three different countries but technically puerto rico is not a country it is a territory of the united states so i have lived in boston massachusetts um where i grew up Manabal, um in la república dominicana and in guaynabo puerto rico um, so I've lived in all those three places. I think I lived in Puerto Rico for about almost four years. I obviously lived in Boston. I live in Boston now um, for the past like five years. Um, and then I lived in DR for like almost, it was a very short time actually. I don't know if I would consider it live, but I definitely like stayed there for a while than I usually do when, cause I, I moved. Um, I stayed there for like four months. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think it was a, it was a while. Um, then we have number two um my friend's texting me <laughs> i'm like trying not to look at it um number number two i already messing up number three my bad my cat is named after my favorite um season autumn guys fall is so beautiful here in like the states especially like in the northeast um like boston new york all of those places it's so beautiful i think also fall is like really pretty in like the west coast like near seattle as well but like the color of the leaves like the orange the burns like the the warm tones are just it for me and just i be living for those home colors okay um and then number four i'm a libra it's funny because like a lot of my friends are libras as well so i have like a little libra gang <laughs> um number five i average of about five feet um if i were to stand up like you would definitely like notice that i'm like very short um i don't honestly want to be any taller than i am like the only thing is i kind of feel bad for my kids because like my boyfriend is not that tall like if i were to have kids with him he's not that tall and i'm not that tall so they're definitely not going to be tall whatsoever <laughs> so don't even feed your children i'm sorry baby but my grandma she real short. My dad's not that tall. My mother's not that tall. Ain't nothing I can do about that. Um, and then I am currently living outside of Boston, Massachusetts. Um, just like Quincy is a uh, kind of like southern south from Boston. It's honestly like about 20 minutes away. It's not far at all. Um, I still go to the city for work and to see all of my friends. So it's really not that bad. Um, and then i am the oldest of three siblings so i have two siblings from my father's side and then one from my birth mother's side um i don't know her as well as i know my brother and my little sister kayla's 13 and aiden i think is going to be eight i should probably know that honestly but he's just like so much younger than me that it kind of like my cat is like trying to get in like a cabinet and i'm watching her and i'm she's looking at me and i'm looking at her like girl anyways besides point um yeah like it is just like so much younger than me that i have this point like he's like really just like my mom <laughs> and then kayla's at the age where like she's like 13 so like it's like a different because like you know like when you're siblings and you're younger like me and kayla used to play together then we went through a long stage where we didn't play together because she was like eight nine and like 
what is an eight and nine year old going to have with a 17 year old you know what i mean like it's just a little bit different and then now she's like growing up into her teenagers and i just came out of my teenagers so i think that she has more confidence in asking me like oh can you bring me to the mall like sister stuff you know i enjoy it i really enjoy this time with her it's really cute like to kind of like have like a little sister and like be like oh like you need to go to the store you need to go like shopping i got you girl <laughs> i really enjoy it um uh let's see i consider myself an old soul so i have matured much faster than the average 20 year old i would definitely say um 100 percent and i just think that's i'm literally like 35 in like a 20 year old's body it's like no joke um and then i am allergic to dairy i had it's definitely genetic my father has it my sister has it um i think his mom has it my grandma but like I'm so horrible I literally do not like okay like I don't eat dairy if I know I can like not have it but like ice cream like I'm having dairy um but they are like little lactate lactose pills my bad um that you can take they just like don't do the full job but like definitely assist so yeah um but if I forget to ever take those guys bro my face gets swollen my feet get swollen i have them super bloated for like a couple days like it's really really bad um it's just like a big no-no and i need to learn to stop my cravings honestly um so then last one is my biggest fear guys a tsunami is my biggest fear i could never imagine never imagine like being in a tsunami i have been through hurricanes tornadoes snowstorms like um i'm like bot like i'm flabbergasted like i'm out of words like if i were ever to be in a tsunami i would literally just be like just take me now just take me now <laughs> because imagine like there's actually a movie with naomi watts and i watched it and that's what caught like got my attention to the sphere i was like super young it was like when i was living in puerto rico and i kind of really didn't know what a tsunami was because i was never exposed to it until like one day someone said it in class and i was like what's that so i went home did my little research on it watched this movie like illegally through like this app <laughs> bro this woman was like literally on vacation with her family chilling reading a little book everything and a tsunami came and took her whole family out everything everything went wrong i just can't go through that like i i literally rather just be like please just like push me into a tree and then just like my head like felt oh, that's so graphic i shouldn't say that i should not say that but <laughs> basically you get the gist your girl doesn't want to be caught in a tsunami okay <laughs> anyways let's get into the reason why i created this channel um so i have really wanted to start it for a while honestly i can pull up on my um google i can actually do it right now while i'm speaking to you guys i can pull up in google photos i think everyone should download google photos because i have videos and like pictures from when i was in puerto rico when i got my first phone and it's so funny to look back at these videos because you're i just like shocked myself of like how long ago i wanted to start this and it's literally taking me years to do this i've watched other people do it that i know of and i'm just like still sitting here not doing it so i definitely have had this like craving to do youtube but i was always afraid to kind of like start i guess it was like a big confidence thing it just takes a lot of confidence to um really like expose yourself but this is um my one of my videos like the camera's like super bright i mean the lighting is super bright but this is one of my videos all the way back this video is dated let's see let's see when it's dated info august 25th 2013 on a sunday at 8 29 a.m and <laughs> i was looking a wreck i've been wanting to do youtube for so long and i finally have gotten the confidence to go ahead and honestly i think a lot of my people my friends group i um have seen my friend feline i'll leave like her um youtube channel down below because she's her and her boyfriend have a channel as well um i've seen her her do it i've seen her sister do a little bit of her um 
vlogs when she goes on vacations but i do think that my biggest like hype gain like hyper is my roommate patricia um she has been so helpful with equipment assisting like making all of these things kind of just like fall into place for me so mommy if you're watching this video honestly girl you the real one you the real one and you know it um but yes um that's why i started it so i give a big thanks to them obviously everyone in my circle knows that i thank them as well for like helping me but i think that this video was just like so long overdue and i was just waiting for so long to do it for some stupid reason um but yeah sorry for the nose guys there's like a bruins game down below and like everyone is screaming in my roommates but whatever um i apologize for like kind of like the darker background today um usually it's super super bright in my room but it's about 9 p.m right now um i took a real good nap and missed the sunlight but anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed this video down below is my um social media pages my instagram my twitter my snapchat my everything hit me up for anything um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned guys because on june 16th i'm going to mexico city baby <sighs> literally it's gonna be so fun um i'm taking you guys with me so i hope to see you guys then bye loves